Hello guys and welcome to the review of Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1. It's been a while, I've been waiting for this device uh, for quite a while now and I'm happy that I have this uh, right before the launch. So let's go ahead and see uh, what this device has for us. So this is running Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich and uh, for the most bit, I mean it obviously has touch base on top of this and uh, you know it's got the regular uh, all the gestures that uh, TouchWiz has and you could just go in and you have apps and widgets right here so there you go so as you could see the screen transition screen animations are really smooth so if I'm you know hovering my finger slowly and gradually it's, it's responding to touch pretty well so very nice overall but for a quad core processor, it might, uh, you know, you would expect slightly more, I believe. Um, I know I will. And uh, it's just, it's doing a good job, but um, I don't know, maybe I would, it could have been a little more smooth. But anyway, overall it works really nice and uh, it's quite fast. As you can see, all these screen animations and transitions are very quick. Um, there's no delay whatsoever. Quickly. Uh, uh, you know the the processor is rendering everything that you're throwing at it so that's nice so apart from this um you just go into the settings panel and give you a brief uh, look at the scrolling it's it's quite uh, smooth good inertia so again it is a quad core processor with 2 gb of ram which is uh which is new you know uh, not a lot of devices out there with 2GB of RAM so this truly is one of the best uh, performing uh, Android devices in the market right now so again screen transitions and screen animations are very smooth so you know and most of its features are uh, like S3 for example smart stay pop-up play uh, you have all of these things uh, in the tablet as well the S Note is really just the most interesting application on Note it really is the best way to experience the S Pen. Loaded with a multitude of options, you have the ability to select your brush type or pen type, color, hardness and size of your tip of the pen. The S Pen really enhances your writing experience on the note and works more or less flawlessly. As you can see, there is little to no lag while writing. As compared to the previous S Pen on the previous Galaxy Note, Samsung claims that they have much improved the new S Pen's sensitivity and precision of course. It has a 1024 step sensitivity and extreme pinpoint precision with plus minus 0.5 millimeter accuracy leading to more exact and detailed drawing. Now the S Pen has a built-in intelligence. It knows how much pressure is being applied while writing and adjusts thickness accordingly. This is really what Samsung means by a 1024 step sensitivity. Most other touch screens use a capacitive style pen to write which is really just as good as a finger and hence more or less useless. The S Pen is what distinguishes the Galaxy Note from other tablets and hence it stands as something more than just an ordinary tablet and look, I just wrote something using my finger and it's not just uh, the same as using an S Pen. In the S Note we have a very interesting shape match or formula match or the handwriting recognition tool. Now, with the shape match, you can pretty much uh, freehand draw and the software will automatically correct the drawing for you. It also, um, you know, if it's, if it's a table or anything, it will just draw the lines automatically. Now, with handwriting recognition tool, it lets you write using the S Pen and it immediately converts that into digital text for better readability. And obviously something that uh, you can share with uh, other people, especially if you're sending it, uh, sending it out to your boss or your manager. With the formula match, you can write complex mathematical formula and have them converted into digital text as well. The recognition is dynamic, so if you make changes even after writing it, the S note would quickly uh, acknowledge the change. What's more interesting is that you can find answer to mathematical equations. Now, so there you go, you know, you have the formula and you just tap on search and uh, this is another unique uh, split screen feature that the Galaxy Note uh, has and it lets you work on two windows at the same time. Now this is something that we've never seen before and it truly is a multitasking experience at a whole another level. Now the problem with uh, multi-screen is that uh, you can only use it with a few standard set of apps. 
uh, and it is decided by the Galaxy Note 10.1 from uh, you know so you can use this app within or among the video player the browser email polaris office and gallery so if you want to use this app for any other app it's not it's not going to happen the galaxy note 10.1 is really a great companion for creative designers artists and drawing professionals now ideas can flow in any time and it is important that uh, you capture them immediately before it's too late the adobe photoshop touch is just a great uh, software on this tablet even more so because it is optimized for use with DS Pen. The entire experience of using Photoshop is really user friendly and easy to understand. You can almost do anything and everything that you would do with uh, a regular Photoshop software on laptop or a desktop. Using the S Pen is really convenient and easy. You can choose from varying levels of brush sizes and brush hardness. So making selections, adding layers, applying numerous effects and much more is just really very easy with Photoshop Touch. So all in all, the Galaxy Note 10.1 with its powerful processor, 2GB of RAM and software such as the S Note and Adobe Photoshop Touch really sets itself apart from the other tablets. Whether it's the iPad, Playbook or even the Galaxy Tab 2, the Note 10.1 with its large display estate and smart features, most importantly the S Pen, lets you unleash your creativity and draw out maximum productivity. I would definitely recommend this to people who are fond of writing and extremely fond of technology. The UI does get a little laggy though, but nothing that I would complain about. I'm quite sure that with the Jelly Bean update, which should be out very soon, uh, it would take care of the lag. Thank you guys for watching the video. Read the filled review on moviestrap.com. The link would be in the description below. Like us on Facebook and do subscribe.